Airbnb started as an example of collaborative consumption. You have an apartment or a room that won't be used for a couple of weeks, so you can let someone else use it for a fee. That's pretty brilliant in itself, but as the service has grown it's become so much more than that. In popular cities for business and tourism, people have bought apartments specifically to rent out on Airbnb. Airbnb gives those property owners a huge marketplace on which to advertise, protects them from having to worry about damage, and saves them the hassle of taking payments. And the review system keeps everyone honest. For guests, meanwhile, accommodation is cheaper than hotels, meaning they can stay longer. They can also enjoy the experience of living like a local in residential areas, rather than be shoveled into a specific hotel district. Some guests, including us, have taken it even further and are living Airbnb semi-permanently instead of having a permanent home base. It gives us the flexibility to stay in a country slash city as long as we want and move on whenever we get bored. It also removes a whole heap of hassle, there are no bills, there's no maintenance to do, and we just pay our rent by PayPal. And after accounting for all the bills, taxes, furniture, sheets, towels, cookware, etc., associated with long-term rentals, Airbnb can often end up cheaper, not to mention, more flexible. So with Airbnb you can have less boring business trips, longer vacations, or even move around the world while you enjoy the ultimate lifestyle flexibility. If you've got an apartment already, you can rent it out when you go on vacation thus subsidizing or perhaps even covering the cost of your entire trip. Or if you've got a spare room, you can turn it into an extra income stream. You can even start your own small business by buying a place specifically to rent out. In short, Airbnb takes something that traditionally ties you down, and gives you a range of options that would have been unimaginable five years ago.